honestly with fleming the only bad thing according to a lot of people is that you have classes every day for 5 days a week but the positive aspect of that is hi everyone i am adish rampal and i am from india and i am an international student in toronto canada i moved here last year in october i came here in covid and uh, my education background is i am from mechanical engineering and after that i have uh, pursued my project management in canada and now i am in international business management and i have worked with honda cars in sales and marketing and i have worked with uh, eclerc services as a business analyst as well how did you end up getting into fleming college uh, over other colleges and uh, there's another follow up question that is talking uh, if you talk about the program what I've, what type of courses or subjects are included in the curriculum um honestly i just had two colleges in my mind and uh, <clears throat> there's a little story behind it i only had two colleges one was centennial college and other was fleming college because i read they had one of the best project management courses in them and they have a little different in person touch with their programs and uh, i wanted to apply in centennial but i took a lot of time thinking about it and and which was i think the last day to apply for centennial i did not apply for it so i just applied very next day for fleming and i got my letter within like 2 days when i applied for it and after that they had christmas break so yeah i made it through fleming and it, for me it was i think a cake walk but for some might might not be because of the credentials they have so talking about fleming college program one of the best thing for their first semester was you actually just do the pembok and uh, it might get overwhelmed but it is really thorough and extensively about how project management works mm-hmm. you actually go through everything and faculty encourages you to take cap m in your very first semester and they encourage you to take it for like anything and they would actually tell you this is a secret that if you <laughs> if you clear cap m you get full grades in your first semester in your final exam oh, nice. so it's a win win situation i mean you are taking up a program that's a field you want to work in and uh, you get a certification and full grades <laughs> in your final exams so that was a really good offer i took it i took a chance and uh, took my cap m i was thorough with my assignments i was always active in my class i made it through it was a cake walk i would say for every person who was really regular with their assignments trying to understand talking about program i had a conversation with all of them and they were like it's the easiest exam why are they giving it out for a certification i mean Wow. <laughs> that was my our first semester and second semester was really something I think a lot of people really want to get into. So the kind of courses they were offering were really interesting. So one of them were like adaptive project management methodologies. So we read about it a little in our first semester in Pembok because when we were studying it was uh Pembok edition 6th so they did not really talk about a lot about agile or adaptive methodologies but now in in 7th edition they are all about adaptive <laughs> methodologies so so at that time it was something that was really interesting seemed like a new course and uh, something new would come up to us and we started that along with that we had a really good uh, course it named it was named as applied project management slash simulation so college actually took into view of the students and uh, we were accepted by college for the projects 
And most of the people who did not make it through or who did not apply for it, they had to do the simulations. So a standard simulation, everybody is doing the same thing. Whereas we, on the other side, who got selected, we had live projects for college to do. So for some time, we were just practicing on different projects. If this is the situation, what would you do? And this is the kind of a project, what are you supposed to do? We would do all everything, scheduling, putting it in a project, uh, MS project and putting it on MS planner and so many more things. And then in our final project, which was about two months, for two months, we had to make a website. It was such a good experience. I mean, I'm from mechanical engineering. <laughs> I could never even think about designing a website and we are working on something that we do have no knowledge about. And that project was supposed to be in agile. That was the only condition they had. Okay. This is supposed to be in agile. You have to make these sprints. These are the lengths of the sprints. We'll meet once a week. And uh, the professor, he was like, I don't know. I'm your client. Let me know <laughs> what to do. <laughs> What are you supposed to do? And it was a really good experience. So I, I had gone through my courses before because I wanted to know what is it all about. And then I went through all of them. Then the course, the next course was like best practices in project management. This was all about case studies, IV case studies. And, and you are a project manager. I am sure you have read a lot about IV case studies and they are marvelous. So we were just going through the case studies, what happened and where and everything. Then CSR, that's a common course. We have all have to take that course everywhere. And then came my two favorite courses that I really wanted to get my hands on. First was leadership and management. Mm -hmm. that, that, I mean, we read about leadership and management being coming uh, like coming from a technical background it's not something that we are really looking into but when i was in sales and marketing i actually understood the importance of it i i've seen people grow extensively with their leadership skills i wanted to know can we really learn it i mean not really but having information about it might help me so this course and when we took this course we were doing live simulation projects on Harvard University website. They have simulations on their website. We are doing them live. We're getting the results. We're getting the feedbacks, the kind of leadership we have, what, what actions we took in a team, group activities, simulations, mm -hmm. everything. I mean, that was fantastic. Then came the sixth part that is managing change. It's a part of project management. A lot of people did not know about it until we came across this pro course and uh, we learned a lot. And uh, Pembok has still not really covered a lot about managing change in an organization. But in this, pro, uh, in this course, uh, we learned a lot, the importance of how change works and even in our real lives. Mm -hmm. So yes, many times uh, things were tough, but I think that's because we were inconsistent. And the programs they have are amazing. I think that's one of, that's why they have a really good uh, image when it comes to project management. Great, great. And I, I, I know like one of the reasons of uh, this video getting delayed was your assignment. So if you can tell us how many assignments you get, like, is it a lot for you or something that you can manage? Um, honestly, with Fleming, the only bad thing, according to a lot of people, is that you have classes every day for five days a week. But the positive aspect of that is you have class for only two to three hours and the rest of the day is free. So you can actually study mm -hmm. or you can work like five hours a day, like we international students are allowed to. And it's a healthy lifestyle. You, you can get, I think, 
I think, I mean, for us, and yeah, for, with Fleming, they give you a lot of assignments and quizzes. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I mean, unlike uh, the other colleges, we had a lot of assignments, but those, when, when I was taking my CAPM exam, when I was in the exam, I was like, oh, man, I have studied this all in my assignments. I can directly relate it to them. Mm -hmm. And when I cleared it, I went back home. I emailed it to my all professors that thank you for giving us those assignments. I mean, if I cleared my CAPM, it's not because I studied. It's because I did my assignments right. So I think, yeah, it, they give you extensive assignments. But those actually work out really well with your CAPM exam. Awesome. And so you, basically you can manage your, uh, you know, studies, assignments, yes. and the part-time job, right? <clears throat> yes, really. You can actually do that. And professors actually help you out with the assignments. They actually, actually give you a little push. They make you understand a few things which they know you might not be knowing about. And it's really good. And unlike other colleges, like thing that I have experienced in Zindani. They actually take a lot of pain for their students to help them get through the threshold of knowing about the thing, because this is a totally new field for a lot of international students. They have no idea how projects work. And especially when you're studying about it, scheduling, quality control, and so many other things, people have no idea about that. And that's the reason I think this program is really interesting for a lot of people. What was your reason uh, for studying international business management after one year of project management? For for uh, IBM, one of the biggest reasons was 